Are you an IT professional looking for that perfect certification to hit that six-figure mark or take your career to the next level? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to tell you exactly which one it is. Hey, what's up, guys? Boyd Clue is here, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Be an IT Guy. Now look, I know, you're probably wondering what happened to me. Dude, you've been MIA for months, but I got a good reason. I'm not a person that likes to give excuses and all that good stuff, but I have literally been working with hundreds of students around the globe, teaching them the skills to take their career to the next level, and that took priority. That has taken priority. But luckily, I brought on some new team members that have given me a little bit of relief so I can get back to podcasting and giving you guys great insight to help you take your career to the next level. Anywho, so what we're going to talk about in this episode is which certification actually gets you paid six figures. Ooh, I know that's crazy, especially coming from me, the guy that's telling you, don't worry about IT certifications, but there is one in particular that if you get this certification, you can write your own check. We'll get to that in a second. But the reason why, uh, uh, before we get to that, I want to explain sort of why certifications don't really work and trends in the industry and whatnot. So think of it like this. Just because you are certified in a particular skill, maybe you got a Cisco CCNA, or maybe you got like a Windows Server certification, that doesn't mean that you're actually good at doing your job. I'm just going to be real about it. I want you to close your eyes for a moment and just think, just think. You're driving down the highway and maybe somebody almost sideswipes you or they're swerving from lane to lane. I know you've seen it before, right? And the question that normally would at least pop in my mind was, how in the heck did this person get their driver's license? You probably see where I'm getting at, right? Now this person has a driver's license, but they can't drive, right? They passed the test, they put in the work, they got the certification to be able to drive the car, but they suck at it. This is what the industry looks like. It is saturated with IT professionals that have gone to boot camps to memorize how to pass an exam. They're taught the thought process of how the questions are asked so they can come up with the correct answer. And only thing that does is prove that they were able to pass a test. There's no validation in skills whatsoever. And generally speaking, boot camps focus on theory-related situations, hypotheticals. So when these IT professionals go through these boot camps, they pass these tests, they show up to companies, and they can't do the work because the work doesn't match the scenarios because real world is crazy. It's crazy. Some of these situations that I've been in when I was in my tech career, you could not script I'm talking about outages, insider attacks, like just a whole bunch of crazy things that you can't script, that you couldn't be prepared for unless you had the skills to handle that situation. So, I mean, certification exams, the training is good to get the fundamentals down, but that piece of paper itself, it does not mean that you are equipped to do the job. And companies worldwide have realized this. And this is why if you have the conversation with the right person, and you can demonstrate your skills, you can bypass those requirements for certifications and college degrees because it's evident that you can do the job, not just a person that can talk the talk or looks good on paper. We call those people paper dragons, all right? So having skills, being able to do the work will actually take you a long way in your career than just a piece of uh, paper. Now, it, it kills me because many of the IT professionals I speak with, they're entitled. They feel that they're entitled to certain salaries because they got this certification. And I really can't blame them when it's the industry that set them up for this, this belief system that, hey, if I get these certifications and I spend five years doing this, then I should be guaranteed this level of pay. But it's not. Companies are going to pay people that can solve problems and that are good. They are skilled employees. That is how you make money. Which brings me to the certification that will almost guarantee 
pay you a six-figure salary. You got no choice. This certification is the only one that I will put my stamp of approval on that guarantees the, the skill set, and that is the OSCP. This is the Offensive Security Offensive Security Professional Certification. Offensive Security. Now, the training for this certification is rigorous. We're talking about actually hacking Windows systems, Active Directory environments, Linux systems. You really got to know what you're doing. And the cool thing about their validation process is their exam to get you to the point of certification isn't some multiple choice exam where you can answer the questions. You literally have to hack your way through the final. You have to hack your way to a certification. And so if I'm going to be honest about it, most of the people that get this certification, yes, they do land six figure jobs as pen testers. But let's think you couldn't have got the certification without the skills to hack. Right. So what I'm saying is the piece of paper is a validator in that case that you had the skills, but ultimately the skills is what put you in the position to get that six figure paycheck. Because the validation is actually skill based. It's not knowledge memory based. You really have to know what you're doing to get the OSCP. Therefore, people in that profession, in the pen testing, the pen testing drama industry, I recommend that. I absolutely recommend that because it validates your skills. It's one thing to tell me in an interview that you know how to exploit buffer overflows and you know how to do hacking of systems but that is the ultimate validator that i put my stamp of approval on but again it comes back to the skills at the end of the day if you want to grow your career you need to have a skill set that is so undeniably good that people look to you as the go-to guy but it's important that you focus your your attention and your mastery on something that is actually important to the business it doesn't make sense for me as a cybersecurity professional to go and master Excel. Now, I'm not after any Excel users, but me mastering Excel doesn't offset risk. It doesn't help the company achieve its, achieve its goals. But when I master something like a cybersecurity framework or I master something like monitoring a SIM, creating alert triggers, creating custom events based on our environment, now I'm adding value. And when you add value, you get paid. That's all I wanted to tell you today. I wanted to share some insight about skills, which certification will actually get you paid, which of course it requires true skills to get, but how to take your career to the next level without doing a bunch of search stacking. At the end of the day, add value, get the skills, master something, master something that's high in demand, has high impact, so that you can add value to companies. When you add value to companies, they'll add value to your bank account. That's the way it works. And if they don't, find another job. Just being real about it. Uh, some parting advice. You know, sometimes we get in the place where we've been at a company for five or six years and we have like this loyalty built up, you know, and we've, we've upskilled, we've put ourselves in a position where we're marketable and the company maybe gives us a three, four percent raise if that and you feel like you owe them something to not leave. Let me tell you this, the only thing that you owe the company is the hours that you agreed to work and the only thing they owe you is the paycheck for those hours that you've worked. There's no loyalty when it comes to business. You could take that skill, those things, those new things that you learned and go out to the marketplace and get a 40% jump. It works like that. Take your career into your own hands and make the best of it. So that's all I have for you guys. If you like this, subscribe to the podcast, like this video on YouTube, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram. I'm at Boyd Clues everywhere. Connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you are an IT professional and you're looking to take your career to the next level, you're not sure where to start, allow me to lead you to a cybersecurity career where you can make six figures in just 90 days by becoming a cybersecurity specialist. I want to help you. If you go over to boycluis.com 
forward slash ITA. I'll drop a link down here before and, and below the video. You'll be able to see exactly the process that we use to transform over 300 IT professionals into six-figure cybersecurity specialists. You can apply for the program, schedule a call with my team, and we'll create a custom roadmap to help you hit your cybersecurity goals so you can take your career, your income, everything to the next level in 90 days. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys. See you on the next one. Thank you.